as for a Thursday afternoon and uh, the students at the National Learning Network in Evikeni had an open day recently showcasing what exactly they do. And uh, I'm delighted to say there's no point in me going on and uh, explaining exactly what they do. Well, uh, not when one of the instructors, Ruri Freel, is uh, with us in studio and also one of the students, uh, Rose Gallagher. So uh, good afternoon to you both. Thanks for How are you, John? Thanks for coming Thanks for in. Having us. Thank you very much. No problem. Now, uh, Rory, I'll start with you. It, uh, tell us exactly what, what it is that the National Learning Network does, based out at Rossview Business Park, out near the Post Tower Roundabout here in Eddie Kenny. It is, yeah, and not many people know it's there. But uh, it's an adult education centre, uh, specialised training for people 16 years and over. And uh, basically, it provides personalised training um, with extra support for uh, people who are going uh, want to take a next step or go on a journey with education or uh, and to find employment. Okay. So what myself and Rose are, are here to talk to you about really is the vocational training that's there, three courses specifically. And uh, those courses are specifically for uh, people who have experienced setbacks of some kind or other. Uh, it could be that they, you know, that education didn't I, work I, out I for I them before, the or they want to uh, take a uh, next yeah. step, stepping stone into further education or employment. Um, and we have a wide network of employers that work with the centre, um, and uh, you know we can help students get get set up with different employment or education options. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. C- it covers a lot. Mm-hmm. It, it does, and uh, it's very broad service really yeah. um, but there's a lot a lot of supports there that maybe people out there might not know are available to them you know yeah yeah absolutely so uh, yeah it is Im- important to make a bit of noise about it and let people know that it's there and, w- and what you do um uh, just if you just d- dig into a little bit into the 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 courses um amongst the courses available there's a, an access program a job start and then uh, perhaps the most advanced one there's a an, an IT one yeah, IT and business is and uh, it would be a level five course there, which is right. level of the leaving cert, and uh, there's a level four retail skills, a level three employability skills, are the three vocational training programs. There's a large element of work experience with them, and you can study these courses in mainstream education, but it's just that if it w- what National Learning Network offers is that you get uh, the student gets a little bit more time to complete their course. And the extra time that they're given is all about personal development and all about creating an individual plan for that person that involves their own hobbies and linking in with the community and maybe uh, the things that they aspire to do, like goals and visions for the future that they'd like to try to develop while they're there, you know. Okay. Rose, uh, Yeah. W- how long have you been at the, at the network? Move that microphone over a little bit there yeah. between you, if you don't mind. Pull in a little yeah. bit closer if you can. Um, yeah. yeah, so three years now, mm-hmm. um, which it, it doesn't feel like three years. The time actually went so fast. And I actually finished next Friday. That'll be my last day. Oh, wow. So nearly finished, yeah. Oh, brilliant. And, and, and what have you been doing in those three years? Okay, so I started off in the uh, level four course, and then I progressed to level five and um but it's a really good like there's a really good range of modules that are really useful you know for um out in the working world like customer service and work experience and um i started to work experience in watson hire and then that actually progressed to paid employment which is amazing wow. so it, pr- it prepares you for the workplace yeah it really does it really kind of um eases you in in um, a very supportive and guided way right uh, so it's safe to say that you've made you made great progress in the three years. Yeah, definitely. I, I really have. Um, I think from when I was when I started, you know, I was a little um, kind of lost in life, I think, because my original plan hadn't worked out and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So um, so over the three years, yeah, I've, um, you know, I've made great friends. Um, I've gotten financial support so I can move to Eddie Kenny. Um, I even met my boyfriend in the end. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> And, that um, was a bonus. Yeah, exactly. That was an added bonus. So. I didn't mention that in perspective. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they should. They might get a few more people to yeah, join. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, safe to say that uh, despite everything that you, mm. you've you learned, all the practical mm. stuff, uh, it's also made a, a huge difference to your confidence. Oh, it really has. Um, that was the main thing. That was something I was severely lacking in. 
before I started and um, all the tutors they're you know they're so supportive and they're really understanding and then slowly little by little I definitely find my confidence coming back again Mm. Um, especially as well with the work placement because it kind of gets you um, in the door for like employment and everything and then it makes you more uh, confident I guess about um, applying for jobs and um, going on to further education. And at school, uh, had how far had you progressed? Had you had you gone as far as the leaving cert? Yeah, so I had my leaving cert, and then I was in um, UCD as well. I was studying English and history, which I really enjoyed, but I just had a bit of mental health difficulties. So unfortunately, I didn't finish my course, and you know, and then I was kind of um, drifting for a few years. You know, I was a little lost, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So um, NLN has been brilliant because it's kind of like. Um, a stepping stone in a way because um I've discovered you know where I want to go in life yeah. so um it's been it's been really brilliant in that regard. So you found it a good fit? Yeah definitely it's a great opportunity. Yeah and you recommend it to others? Oh, I definitely recommend it um it's great for anyone who's a little unsure of where they want to go I think it's kind of like a it's an excellent um intermediate stepping stone for advancing to further study and employment. Yeah Rory, every student is different, uh, and you know whether that's out at the the, the ATU or at the National Learning Network, every student is different. And um, but you, I, I suppose uh, at the with the network, there's just a bit more thought and and time given into the the needs of individual students. Absolutely, that that's really what the extra time that you get on courses is, is designed for, is to. There's on-site supports there, including educational psychologists and other supports that help you sort of organize just basic life stuff like yeah. housing and finances and dealing with different departments and stuff. And I mean, like it's it's just every student's different, as you say, and it's inspiring for us to actually meet the students because, you know, it can be hard for every everyone to get on with life sometimes, but especially when somebody's experienced a setback. And it's quite inspiring to see how uh, somebody can get up and go or, or be able to fight through those things to be able to move on, progress with goals. And I suppose that's that's what we're there to do. The, the staff have a wide range of qualifications in different areas and are able to help, uh, you know, guide yeah. students in that way. And some people have more diff- difficulties to overcome than others. But yeah. it's a case of just, you know, uh, unlocking the potential. Absolutely. You know, like Rose um, has read some amazing amount of books this year. She's a voracious reader. Uh, how many books have you read uh, this year? 95. 90 wow. books this year. <laughs> and uh, I mean, like, so a lot of students I meet in the course of my work, they, they can excel at some or at least have some great skills in, in a very specific area. But it's it's finding out what that skill set is or, yeah. or, or, or what that area is. Exactly. And, you know, mainstream education is, is, is great for those that it works for, f- fine. But especially now at the time of the leaving cert results come out and stuff, um, some people's interests and, and uh, skill sets just don't find that that uh, fit in, in life. And uh, I suppose, I mean, that's, that's what a service like that is designed for, is to try to guide people back onto something that might be a worthwhile, meaningful career for them. And and it also fits into what the local market education or employment has to offer, you know. Mm. And uh, obviously you have a good relationship with uh, local businesses and local employers yeah. uh, to, to try to get work experience for. Yeah, we have great uh, supportive network of, of businesses out there who um, are more than willing to take students on for work placements that are aligned with their interests and things. And... Uh, Thanks to anybody out there listening, by the way, who is an employer who has taken uh, a student on, by the way, because I know there's lots of businesses out there that might be listening to you. Good. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, it's it's important to um, uh, to do things like this to, to, in order to create awareness. And, and I suppose it's also important to remind people that is it all year round that you would take in students or is it now... Um, at the start of sort of the academic year. Yeah, well, it's actually continuous and take, I suppose, so as you say, um, all year round, you can apply at any time, but I suppose at certain points of the year, there would be more of a, a drive maybe to try yeah. and capture the students at, at pivotal transition points in the year, like after leaving cert and things like that. So, um, but you can uh, enroll at any time. 
and uh, and and it's it, that's the way it works. It's yeah. continuous. So, so Rose, you're finishing up next yeah. week after mm-hmm. after three years. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's you know it's a landmark yeah. in your life. Mm-hmm. And um, would you have thought three years ago that you'd be uh, where you, where you are today? Uh, you know, mm-hmm. how did how did the future look three years ago? Um, three years ago, I think it was very uncertain. Mm-hmm. And like I said, my original plan didn't really work out. So I was kind of, you know, I was really unsure of what to do. I was only in my mid-20s at the time, but I was just really um, kind of lost in a mm. way. But mm. like um, now through the three years and through my experience of what's in a higher, I know that I, I found a further career path that I want to go into, which is um, office administration. And I'll actually be starting a medical and legal administration course with the ETB. Brilliant. On the 3rd of October. So um, it's kind of like a more specialised progression of the course I've recently right. completed. So you've used it as a stepping stone? But yeah, a really good stepping stone into finding something that I want to do and a career path that I feel confident about and happy to pursue. Brilliant. Well, listen, uh, you know, a great example of a uh, success story. <laughs> and uh, Ruri, just to, to uh, remind people that you're located uh, out uh, the Polestar r- roundabout, just in behind uh, Rossi Interiors. If anybody wants to get in touch, I'm sure online. Yeah, you can. Tw- there's a, a f- there's a phone number there. Uh, it's oh seven four nine one six eight two eight eight, and an email address letterkenny at nln dot ie. And you could find all those contact details by just typing in li- National Learning Network Letter Kenny into into Google. You'll find all those contact details there. Right. And um, yeah, and uh, the the courses are running there. And if anybody's interested that has experience a setback or anything, just to get in touch and see what we take it from there. Might be able to offer you. Okay. Ray Feel Feel and uh, Rose Gallagher, thank you both Hi. very much for for having a chat with us. Thanks thank very, very much, much John. Thanks. Brian McCormick, Sports and Leisure, your football specialist. Multi-buy discounts on footballs from Mitre.